Hey everyone, the UK election is about a month away and the chosen date of December 12th is Frank Sinatra's birthday. So depending on the result, it'll either be a case of that's life, send in the clowns, or perhaps Jeremy Corbyn will win, in which case, fly me to the moon. But for voters in Buckingham, it's an especially exciting election because local MP and Speaker of the House John Berko is stepping down, so they actually get to vote in his constituency for the first time in about a decade. Berko's resignation is all part of the overall Westminster rebuilding effort that's seeing other forms of damage and rot removed from the building. In his place, Sir Lindsay Hoyle, the MP for Charlie, is going to be taking up the job, and he's going to please many by promising to bring back the more traditional aspects of the Speaker's job, like the wig, robes and integrity, sorely missing the last decade. Also, not being married to someone who sees the job as a way to make money from celebrity gossip magazines in the Daily Mail celebrity sidebar. As for Mr Berko, I just hope he channels his Napoleon complex, maybe applies for a job as an impersonator on the far and distant island of St Helena. The new speaker, one of the lesser known parts of the job, is that he gets to choose a new Scotch whisky blend for serving the bars of Westminster. I actually got my dad one of the Michael Martin bottles a few years ago as a birthday gift, and they're exceptionally good quality if you know anyone with access to them. Is at this stage I was going to maybe spend a few minutes reciting some more John Berko jokes, but I'm already fed up with the mention of his name, to be honest. And I think David Cameron did the job best. He once told an anecdote about how Simon Burns, the health minister at the time, had bumped his car into John's in the car park. A furious Mr Berko proceeded to storm out of his apartment, shouting, I'm not happy! At which point Simon responded, well, which one of them are you then? Oh well, I always think it's important to be able to say at least one good thing about anyone, no matter how bad they are, so I guess I'll end by saying that at least he's not been allowed to vote on anything for the past decade. That's about it, really, though the only positive I can think of out of a decade of demented, delusional, attention-seeking arrogance. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.